friends, it's Nancy. So today I happened to catch on um, Facebook Marketplace that there was a nearby antique store that was closing, going out of business. Um, and only open from noon to five today, I guess. It's gonna take, I, th I think it's gonna take them a couple of months to actually close the doors, but. So we went today to see if I could find some really good stuff for paper. And when we got there, um, the owner was a, a very elderly man and uh, he had um, oxygen and his son was uh, helping him. He was taking pictures of things and posting it on Facebook Marketplace, I guess. Um, so I happened to let him know I'm interested in old paper do you have any photos or postcards or things like that and he said oh yeah over there so <clears throat> there was a couple of this basket and it had a couple of photo albums in it and uh, each of the individual pieces were priced like some were priced five dollars a piece um, some things were priced like eight fifty so I made him an offer which he accepted and I am quite pleased with what I brought home. So let's just have a little look-see. The first thing that I was tickled to find were these books and their Whitman publications. This one was 1934. They're just little jobs. This is um, like five and an eighth by oh three and a, an eighth. And it has lovely little illustrations and I had that that's a nice size for a tag like that so I got this one of butterflies this one has uh, trees this one is wildflowers This, and then the next three are birds. Uh, this one is um, 1931. So just really nice little illustrations. They're not in uh, A1 condition. This one's been taped back together. I'm going to cut it apart anyway. So, has a blue one, a red one, and a green one. This one is more shore birds, water birds, game birds, birds of prey. There's some owls in there. So, I'm happy with those. Um, he had two groups of three, and they were originally priced $19 for a group of three. Um, I believe I paid 20 for all six. Um, the only other separate thing I bought was this. So it's a ladies notebook and calendar, 1900. And it's a calendar for 1901. So it talks about um, medications and uh, um, you know advice there's a mixed childbirth easy and almost painless <laughs> And then towards the back is, um, you know, more medical advice and, uh, um, yeah, so it has a photo on the front. Dr. Pierce's All Healing Salve. So this, he wanted $10 for this. Um, I got this and these little notebooks and this little pad of order piece things I paid ten dollars for them and then the rest of everything that was in the basket 
I paid um, 50. 50? Yeah, 50. Okay, so um, first up is some photos. Just kind of flip through those. Most of these are postcards. There's another picture of this room somewhere. This one, it's hard to even tell what's in there. It looks like there's four kids and an adult. I don't know what she's doing. Little baby. Uh, most of no, just three of them have ice skates on. There's another one of that room. She looks a little happier. Some of these were peeled out of a photo album, obviously. That was nice. This one's really faded. I'm filming. I'm still filming. <laughs> That's cute. And then there's these smaller ones. Um, Cleveland, Ohio. Utica, New York. Well, these kind of... I, I like the backs of them. Look at that. Norton and Luther, Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland. Look at the baby. This one's interesting. You see she's got a crinoline in there. Um then there was a bunch of different things. So these one, these are blotters from uh, the Bell Telephone Company. There's two of them. It says this is number three of a series. This is number four of a series. I thought this was interesting. It's um, it's a letter view, the SS Empress of England. So you open it up like an envelope. And then it has all these images oops, of uh, areas on the ship. And then it has um, the letter side. Isn't that neat? Here's a Father's Day card. And oh, the, this one was cute. Uh, the red coats are coming, and it says Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, too. Isn't that cute? And then there's just some vintage postcards. Uh, a colleague's son is going to RMC right now. Some are English, some are Canadian. Some of them are rather local, like Fergus isn't too far from here. Alora is just near there. Palmerston. Well, actually, they people who live up there, they call it Palmerston. Um, this one's German. Uh, 
Brantford, that's uh, down south of us. Another Brantford. Looking for a date. I'm not seeing anything. This one's Port Huron, which is just, it's in Michigan, just the other side of Sarnia. Spent a lot of time there. That's from 1913. Galt. Well, Galt doesn't exist anymore, except for the people who live there and they still think they're in Galt, but they're actually in Cambridge. Um, also 1913. Euler Combe. Euler 1907. That's Canadian. I think uh, this is the oven where they put the quintuplets after they were born, the uh, Dion quintuplets. Yeah, the wood burning stove that served as the baby's first incubator. And then there's, there's these um, actresses. Some of them are named. This one isn't. This one is uh, Kathleen Courtney, Miss Marie Studholm. This one has some glitter. She has so she has glitter on her necklace and on the rid the the hem of this ruffle. Gabrielle Ray, Hilda Coral. So these are all in 1906. This. As a postcard. <laughs> well, they're all postcards, aren't they? But some are older than others. Some are in more interesting than others. We'll get through these. Thousand Islands. That's a, a French farm, I think. Or maybe not. That doesn't look like a farm. It looks like a graveyard. France from the clouds. Yes, it's the Canadian Cemetery from 1944. This is uh, TCA's Fast Transit Atlantic Super Constellation Plane. So there they are, lighting the smoke and getting served their brandy by the steward. This is a picture of Guelph, Guelph, Ontario, the square, and I believe I used to work down here, and I lived up in here. So that's kind of neat. Looks sort of 60s-ish. There's some more ships. These are pictures from the um, Canadian National Exhibition. This one's kind of interesting. It's Palace of Horticulture. So this is still the CNE, but it's kind of got this interesting embossed. Niagara Falls. That's Niagara Falls. That's Niagara Falls. Oh, this is a Christmas postcard. I'll put that in a different envelope because I did get quite a few Christmas envelope or Christmas postcards. So this bag is all Easter. That's a little card. This one has a stamp on it, but it doesn't look like it was ever mailed. I thought this was an interesting one, and I thought, what's the date on that? So I was surprised to see it was 1913. I like that one too. 
That one's kind of messed up. Another embossed one, 1913. Some pussy willows and snowdrops. Nineteen thirty, and this one is nineteen twenty-two. So those are all Easter. Um, these ones are all Christmas. So there's just there's this little card in there. I'll put this one in with the Christmas ones. I think these are Christmas and New Year's. That's nice. Nineteen twelve. There's quite a few that say Christmas greetings from California. There's I think four or five. These ones are the same. No, they're not the same. It's the same image here, but that has a candle that has pine cones and it's a different uh, verse. Nineteen twenty-seven. There's another California. That's nice. 1921. This one it had. This one's crumbling. Like. Yeah. 1912. I might be able to use the back for something, but the front's certainly no good. It's interesting, it has thistles. That's pretty. I love the old gold on it. Here's another one with orange. Nineteen twenty six. Los Angeles, California. That's pretty, I love this script. Merry Christmas. And another one from California. And then I got some other weird stuff. Oh, these are, what are these? These are all New Year's. That's beautiful. I like that one. Oh, look at that. Nineteen nineteen. It's a hundred years old. Amazing. Nineteen twenty six. This one came from California. This one has poinsettias. This is a common sight in Miami. New Orleans. California. I thought this one was interesting. I would have expected there was some sort of a sentiment printed there, but it's blank. Uh, doesn't have a year. It says January 26th. 1913.
And the rough stuff, 1917. This is beautiful. I love this one. And I don't know. It's got some glitter on it, but wow, is it ever dirty? It says Miss Aggie Wood, Detroit, Michigan. Agnes. I like that one. And this had some random stuff in it. So there's a missile card. This one says Mother Goose. 20 for 10 cents. Six designs. Not sure what that's advertising. Uh -uh, it's a business card. Um, this is a card advertising. Uh, a restaurant. Catering to sleigh riding and square dancing parties. Now, there you go. This is from um, a dance hall, I guess. And there's a photo inside of three couples. Remembrance of a pleasant evening at the Highlands. Uh, this is from something in the Grand Canyon. This is also a map of the Southwest. It talks about the Grand Canyon. And that sort of thing. There's no date, unfortunately. So some pages are black and white, some are color. Illustrated by the Hendersons. This one says Christmas 45. So it has, again, color pages, some color, some black and, well, sepia tones. This is the dedication service, dedication service um, program for a church in the 1960s. This is a menu from a restaurant that was in London, Ontario. Um, I don't remember ever going there, but my husband does. Look at the prices. Escargot a la Francaise, $1.25. And this is a cocktail menu from a hotel, the Circus Room, a hotel in Waterloo. So you could get a cocktail, you get yourself a Moscow Mule for 75 cents. And there you go. So, just a bunch of odds and ends. Um, definitely some things I'm going to make use of. Um, I couldn't... I don't think I could have made a better deal than I did. Um, you know, in antique stores some things can be really priced high anyway um, I will be parting with some of these items um, not anytime soon but if you follow me on Instagram I'll often post um, ephemera or small items that I'm ready to to part with make room for something else um, so my in Instagram is Wishes and Weeds. There's a link at the end of this video. 
And um, Saturday night, probably Sunday morning before I get this posted, I've been making some journals. It's taken me about a week to get as far as I have. Um, I had gotten some black and white, like hunter, not hunter, what do they call it? Buffalo plaid fabric at the thrift store. Um, so I got some big checks and some small checks and I've got the fabric on these but um, that's as far as I've gotten in the assembly so far. Um, so two, I've made three all together. Two of them have the smaller check with the bigger buffalo check on the spine and this one has the big, big buffalo check with the smaller check on the spine and some pretty lace. I believe I got that lace in Pennsylvania in the summer. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by and we will talk to you again soon.